People, my people, welcome back to Odin Does Drinks, and tonight we're making a rose and tonic cocktail. With summer fast approaching and about to be on us, it's about to be drinking weather, so let's get this baby going. Now, what you can see before you is I actually have a local rose, it's out of Amherst Winery in the Pyrenees, which are in not France in this case, they're actually, I think, in northwestern Victoria. I got it on Sun Saturday correcting myself it cost me about $20 a bottle so what this is is I grabbed this because it's a stinking hot day leaving the wonderful glass of ice in the way of course doing only the best and I tip a good measure of this because after all it's 40 degrees and it's that bloody hot out there it's a snake frying in the um, concrete and the oh, rosé is cold as you want the ice cube kind of happiness the tonic water has been in the fridge for a couple of hours. I tip it over and ta-da! There is your cocktail. In just over a minute, there is a solution to one of those fucking hot days where you dress with the whole world to just fuck off so you can sit back and drink this delicious stuff. You know, I must tell you, the rose, Rachel's Rosé out of Amherst Winery, the 2023 vintage NLS, is quite dry. So this does, I think, really it, it's a, it killed a couple of trenches and it killed a couple of brain cells later this is my second crack at it so thanks for watching people my people subscribe like and share and i'll go around to you with more simple and absolutely delicious